Hello, welcome to Easy Company Collectibles. And today, we're looking at another Iron Man figure. Yes, I've been sucked up into the Iron Man craze of Hot Toys 1-6 scale die-cast war machines. And, speaking of toys, you can get your link down below for BigBadToyStore.com. I'm sweating. Check the link below. Big Bad Toy Store. They got out of the stuff. And, um, I picked up, uh... This for a whopping two hundred ten dollars off of eBay, and I I couldn't pass it up. And um, when I got it, it was a bit used, yes, but with the power of cleaning and 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 bald spot removal, hair removals, um, we did it. So what we're looking at today is the Iron Hot Toys Iron Man one six scale diecast figure. Wow, this figure sold out, and um. Decided to pick it up after I got my hot rod. After I got that hot rod figure, I said, Man, that's just an amazing figure. I kind of like the way, like, uh, War Machine's look. So then I started getting the, um, into the Iron Patriot one. Which, to me, the red, white, and blue Iron Man War Machine thing is, like, freaking awesome, isn't it? It's real America. America! And I just uh, had to get it for $210. Uh, I, I couldn't pass up on it, so I got it. It's used, pre-owned, but it's in good condition, um, kind of. But uh, as we talk about it, let's go ahead and wrap this, unwrap this guy. So at retail, this was uh, right now it's sold out, obviously. Um, as you can see, the split boxing for um, the Iron Patriot. Um, at retail, this was retailing for $2.90, I think it was, what I saw. I love these little boxes at the bottom. They're so cool. You get the little nice... It's it's so nice what they give you in, in Iron Man and as compared to um, uh, Star Wars. Every time I complain about it. But uh, typical, your typical what I'm not used to, but your Iron Man, it says Iron Patriot um, embossed into the... Um, foam insert protecting the figure um i love the way they package these um die cast ones big time it's superb packing um now here is the figure all in its glory um it's it's really amazing in person um very scary to stand it's it's really amazing in person um when you see the colors and 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 the the in-depth detail of these it's so amazing I just love the quality they have into these die-cast figures and that's why I keep getting them um it just pulls me in and keeps me wanting more and I can't stop now I'm looking at the Infinity War war machine um those are pretty sick that one coming out is pretty pretty sick I love that one that war machine it looks really nice and just like the other one, I'm going to set this down. You already had a good look at it. It comes with a uh, Colonel Rhodes head sculpt, which we'll get all zoom in on the uh, closer uh, angle after this. And they give two masks, so you can have it like partially on and partially off. But I don't know which which one is which. I don't I don't know which uh, mask is partial on and off because they both magnetized and they're both the same size so I'm like eh, which what's the difference and they come with the usual hands that usually comes with these Iron Man figures you get some like repulsor that's like repulsor open palm hands and then your fisted hands as well as a salute hand now some of these actually came a bit pink as you can see on this I'm gonna show you the paint looks like it's been worn out so let me see if I can get that out of. I guess this looks like it's been worn out, so it's kind of on the pink. It's kind of on the pink side. Now that I don't know what it's from, but I've seen these in pre-owned figures. I don't know if it's from direct sunlight or or what exactly. What it can be causing that type of uh, color wear or um, color fade on these on the plastic parts, which sucks because I've seen some. In the groin area, um, the uh, paint has been fading on some of them. Only some of them. I haven't seen yet, but so far on this one, the pre-owned one I got, um, it's 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 faded and 
I don't really mind on that one because I don't use those plastic hands. I use the articulated um, hands that these come with. Um, also, here's the base that comes with these. Um, really nice looking base um, with the war machines. Um, I didn't get to go into deep detail into looking at the base, but you know, little hairs here and there. Got a little bit of paint bleed onto it. It's okay, but it's the same base as every other war machine um, uh, base. The base lights up around the edges to illuminate the base, which is really nice. I like that touch. It makes it look pretty fancy for what it is. So that's all that comes with it, as well as the batteries and a little mini screwdriver that comes with most war machines, I'm assuming, because so far this is my second one, and same exact base, same exact um, uh, screwdriver little thing with along with batteries and then the stand and the um oh I just almost forgot this and this as well the um posing uh rod along with the uh uh flight you're not really you can't do a flight much more so but um it holds a figure in place the grabber that keeps a pr figure pretty pretty stable i would say so that's all as, as far as the uh, box that it comes with. The, the hands is the uh, accessories that's a little bit on the uh, extra side. But other than that, I mean, everything is pretty, pretty hot twizzy. So let's get in and uh, zoom in. Alrighty, so that's what the, uh, the, the, the figure looks like solo, just standing there. Um, let's go up front in the uh, little, little head here. Um, as you can see, the head is just like your usual um, War Machine, which isn't no different. I just kind of, if you you have to be a real War Machine fan to pick these up because they're pricey and they don't they don't really they don't really have much room in price as far as the third party sellers like on eBay. But you can you can keep hunting like me. I got lucky. I actually paid one uh, no what two ten for this, and I mean I think it's worth it. Um, uh, Iron Patriot is one of those figures that. It just to me is a cool figure. Um, it its paint job is amazing, as well as coming with a head sculpt and um, uh, what else? Like uh, more like helmet options, uh, a big gun in the back, and and so on and so forth. Um, it's it's a it's to me that this candy reds and this candy blues, I just love. And in person, you can't really tell, but. In YouTube videos, they're not 4K, obviously, but this one, you can probably tell it's a really nice figure. Um, you have um, really nice features in this, as well as, I'm going to get into this, as well as, like, a head sculpt. So let's get into the head sculpt that it comes with. Um, this is a head sculpt it comes with, which, to me, it, it really grabs that guy's looks, Don Cheadle. It really, it really has that guy's looks. I really love that look um, Hot Toys did. Let me get closer. It just really, really looks like him, and I think it's really cool. Now, it comes with these extra little head parts that um, you kind of, like, magnetize onto them. And it says magnetize on, but I don't get it, because they said just, like, put up here, and it's supposed to be, like, half on, half off, or whatever. But I can't seem to balance it correctly that it stays on with with it like whatever wait might have it nope and i just can't get that staying on symmetrical enough for it to just float in place or get magnetized in place i can't do that for some reason i don't know but it comes with two of them and uh two face shields so that's your options there. One is slightly opened, I guess, and the other one is like more so of an open. So that's your option there, as well as coming with a, uh, a gun that goes on his back. And this one is also nicely painted and detailed as well. Um, this one, this is something new. I wanted to stick on my um, uh, hot rod. I ordered a war machine, and I'm going to stick a gun on him as well this one also articulates and spins over here kind of, not spins but kind of pivots out of the way of his head so you can get an aim and lock on on your guy so let's put these on and see how it looks all right so there he is um posed and his lights um turned on um now 
the lights isn't that bright because the LEDs are um, with some older batteries. Now, if I have the gun, the large gun on his shoulder in the wrong position, I am sorry. I have to go look up more Iron Man movies. I believe this is from Iron Man 3 um, when he's uh, Iron Patriot um, in paint scheme. I, I can't remember, but uh, all in all, this is a great figure to me. Um, not I, For 200 I think it's a good deal. Obviously, it's die cast and trying to get it brand new. It was going to be like 300 bucks. Um, that's kind of hard for me to determine. But at 200 bucks, I kind of like I like the way this figure is going. I like the color scheme. I like everything about it. Articulation and everything is just like um, all the other Iron Mans. They do articulate just like their plastic counterparts. Um, joints are a bit more fragile to me on um, uh, parts that's die cast because of the sounds it makes. Um, it's kind of scary. The toe, art, there's toe articulation as well. I don't articulate my figures much because, as you can see, my last Iron Man, I broke that one, um, sadly. So let's turn off this one. Oh no! All right, but uh, I broke that one sadly, and it just didn't turn out well. So I'm um, not sure if I'm going to use a Colonel Rhodes's face or keep this one on, but I think I'm going to leave this this uh, this look with the helmet on. Um, uh, chest lights is on as you can see it's kind of dim because the batteries are kind of probably on the older side um, As well as the lights on the eyes, but I gotta do some posing with this guy and see what works best out of out of um, What what he can do so let's move up zoom in on his head So you can get a closer look I'm just kind of blowing time so you guys can get the closer looks and uh, paint job um, details because I love the candied paint job and the metallic look that this guy has which really brings out the figure so it looks like a statue I mean the colors and everything the design the stars and stripes on him it's just awesome and then little little tiny details like um, what you see on his back it says right there um, disengage to inspect and I think the gun goes here on the other side of his shoulder I'm not sure I think I, I gotta watch it or uh, see it on the manual, which you're supposed to read, which I don't, but, you know, that's how it is. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paint. I love the paint job Hot Toys has done. Um, the only thing I'm scared of is his crotch area getting, um, like, old and kind of paint fading. Because that's a plastic part where people have has had fading more um, often. So that's kind of one area to watch. But other than that, the whole thing is just just an epic little figure. And I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me zoom in on that. It says, Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. And it's so fine details like that. It's so awesome as well. Just look at the details and the paint and the sparkle. And then as you can see, the stars and the stripes and all that. America accents all over this figure as well as his leg as you can see it says ammo right here which is pretty cool how it says those little tiny tiny words i love the details what's this say i don't even know what it says i guess it says danger so be careful with that part and then up here it says danger as well and then over here um and disengage to service oh to service so just like the other ones, the battery compartment in the back of here, in the back of his hand over here as well. And then for his head, the battery compartment is inside. So you just pop off the top of his helmet and then you get uh, your access to the battery compartment inside of his helmet. So just a nice little close up right there. Just nice, nice detail into that uh, head sculpt of the Iron Man figure. Really nice really nice love it so if you're an iron man figure go ahead and try to look out for this if you already have it you probably know it's a great figure um i just i just want to express that be careful with um moving and articulating these figures because oh gosh it sounds so weird when you're doing it but you think you're gonna break it you literally think you're gonna break it but i luckily i haven't uh, broken this one yet so um like my um i'm gonna bring it over one second I mean, just look at these two. These two guys look amazing together. So in a collection where these are going to be together, they look so amazing because these are just suits. It's not like 
in Star Wars characters, you would have a Han Solo in disguise, and a Han Solo old man, and a Han Solo Hoth, and a Han Solo in his Return of the Jedi, and a Han Solo in a, a New Hope outfit. So it's my thing in my collection is the repetition that gets to me. The repetition I don't like. The patterns are almost completely dead already in these things. I'm going to pull them out. I usually don't store them with, um, or keep them posed with batteries anyway. Um, but these guys, they look good in a collection. They just look good being there. Um, it just, it has that flavor because in Iron Man, you can have suits all over the place. They're just suits until you put a head sculpt on it and then it's a it's an actual person in there. But as far as the suits go, Iron Men are just suits. They're not they're not people. So you can have a ton of these and I see why they make them like that because you can have a ton of these and it will just look simply awesome in your collection. Now, I'm just going for war machines right now. Um, yes, that's not considered a war machine, but it is a war machine because I think when war machine first um, came out uh, this was the prototype for the War Machine that uh, Tony Stark, Anthony Stark, yeah, get it right, um, had in his collection. Basically, he kind of just themed it as a lightweight um, war machine that was agile and yet fast. And that's why it's kind of in the hot rod theme. It's it's basically uh, the history of a hot rod put into an Iron Man because the history of a hot rod is during the Prohibition. They're trying to outrun the police. So they modify the engines to transport alcohol illegally, and they, that's how hot rods came to be. And uh, thank you, class. You may be dismissed. Read pages 36 to 38. That's your homework for tonight. Do turn in and do the assessment at the very end of the chapter. That is due tomorrow as well. And um, just a great figure on all. Uh, I love the figures, colors, the way Hot Toys has done this. Now, the release, I, don't, I think it was a couple years ago. Um, so you can't get this anywhere else. You get it on eBay if you can. Uh, make sure with your sellers that it's not damaged. No kind of damage is on it. But um, I'm happy with this. 210 bucks for that one is not bad. $280 I paid for this one with a broken shoulder. Um, these two are basically standing points of eBay. Um, uh, brand new, never opened, blah, blah, blah. Broken shoulder. Obviously, someone tried to hot glue his shoulder. This one was... Great condition, but it, it had like random water spots and really, really dusty uh, for being a collector. Uh, collector's uh, standards are pretty high, so that was kind of a disappointment, but all in all, great figures. Guys, if you like more Iron Man, do let me know because I'm getting interested into Iron Man now. Um, yeah, the die cast only, die cast only, but it's a, it's a crazy road to go down, but I think I've already hit it, so... If you guys want to see more, let me know so I can get more. And in the meantime, till later, salute to my Iron Man War Machines because they're they're tough guys. And in, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Or you're sitting on the toilet and you're right now... It's pretty good to inhale your own smell because it's like chemistry, your own body. Okay, I better go. Okay, bye!